Hello YouTube, Chester Boy here, and welcome to my lap, my final Commer build review. And yeah, that's kind of disappointing because I'm, I'm reviewing a weapon that's like almost a year old. Um, this is the Deluxe Twin Breaker. And this is a weapon used by Commer Cross and Commer Grease. And this toy was released in December of 2017. So, it's almost a year old. So, yeah. Um... You can see the color scheme is pretty similar to the Splash Driver. We got the we got the metallic blue, we got the white, we got the red, we got the got some mustard yellow, and got some gray. We got the caution stripes, which is which is a prominent uh, motif on all the Cummer build gear, all the roleplay toys, and we have the two ball slots, um, which of course you can tell this is not a reader. There's no pin sets or anything like that, so it only relies on these two buttons right here, these two blue ones. So, yeah. And of course, here's the handle. And we're wondering, yes, there's the button on here, but there's no yellow button on this side. So this is actually a left-handed weapon. So now does it fit? Uh, it does. Yep. See, I can fit it. So it's not too bad. I mean. You know, this is a kid's toy, but it kind of fits in my hand. And I can grip it just fine. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty neat. Um, and, of course, here's the battery pack right here. And, of course, this takes two AAA batteries. And, of course, here's a switch. And I'm also going to turn on the switch. And you get a twin breaker. And the sounds are a bit quiet. That sounds a bit quiet, and, and it really depends on how fresh your batteries are. I mean, I mean, if you look at my cover, my uh, was it my uh, full ball buster review? The sounds for that thing were really loud. Even I, pre even I pressed, um, well, even I put like really new batteries in that in that thing. So yeah. Um, but anyway, enough of that jib jab. Let's get into the sounds. Um, and so we have attack mode. Um, and it, actually, let me turn off the sounds for now. Let me show the the, the modes, what, what they look like without the sounds. So this is attack mode, and this mode is mainly used by Comrade Cross Charge. Now for beam mode, this is used by Comrade Grease. And yes, this the screwdriver bit is spring loaded. So so yeah. And to me, it's pretty, it's a bit satisfying to me. So, yeah. Alright. Let's turn on the sounds again, and let's hear some sounds for attack mode. So you get kind of a, dr uh, a drill sound going on. And for beam mode... So you get a generic uh, blasting sound. And that's pretty much that. Now let's take a look at what the, let's take a look at the functionality with the full bottles. Um, I'll just point I'll just want to point out I don't have any well, any of the splash jellies, which because to be honest, there was only two splash jellies, which were the dragon splash jelly and the robot splash jellies. So I don't have those two, nor the gash upon version. So yeah, we're just gonna stick with the full bottles I got here to my left. So. Yeah, let's go over the functionality. All right, so let's let's go over the sounds here. So we're gonna start with Comer Cross Charge related sounds. So what I mean by this is that we're we're gonna make some sounds that come out of the attack mode. When Ari went over the generic ones, or just by pressing this button without any full balls inserted. So so we're gonna start with the single break. So now the finisher tags for Comer for Comer Cross Charge are called breaks, or for Comer Grease they're called finishes. So, yeah. And yes, we will get to Comrade Grease later. So, let's start with the single break. I think here it says single. So they got the single break. And then you put another full ball in any full bottle, you get this. Then you can hear it says twin and press the button. And 
So you got the twin break. So yeah, and of course in order to remove the but the the uh, full bottles, there are these two buttons right here. So you press one, it releases it. Now we're gonna actually leave these um out for now because if you own the cross dragon, if you want to be you know more accurate to the show, you can. Put this in. You can put the cross dragon inside. Well, slot insert into the uh, twin breaker to activate the let's break. Now, since I don't have the cross dragon, I'm not yet to push these two in simultaneously. So, so let's let's create the let's break. So there you go, they, they have the let's break. So, yeah, so that's pretty much it for the cross charge related sounds. Let's move on to Conrad Grease. Alright, now let's get on with the what's going on with the uh, beam mode sounds involving the full bottle. So just since we're since we're now Conrad Grease, we can use the robot full bottle. So let's do the single finish. So you have the single finish, and of course, if you put any other full ball or splash jelly into the second slot, you get this. And yes, the sounds are exactly the same as the ones in attack mode. So yeah, and of course, we can actually do the the let's finish. Okay, don't fall off. Um, okay, so get that in there, and... So there you go, you have the let's finish. So, yeah, that's that. Um, okay, let me get the rabbit tank sparkling out of here. Uh, let's see. All right, here it is. Uh, yeah. All right, so I got the rabbit tank sparkling, which will shut it off. I should even try to get the random um, jingle sound. Okay, there we go. I was trying to get that. Um, and let's just plug it into the twin breaker. So yeah, that's what this is what it looks like with the rabbit thing sparkling. Even though this didn't appear in the show. So, but you can do it on the toy in the toy. So, and if you want to get more crazy. Um, even on, on, on the uh, cross magma knuckle, which I want to soon. Let's see what it looks like with the genius full bottle. So there you go. Um, this is what it looks like with the genius football, and it does look pretty ridiculous. But hey, it does add some more weight to it. So <laughs> yeah. Um, I think I think you know. I think about it. Um, combining this with the cross magma knuckle will look a bit more ridiculous, but that's just a speculation. So, so yeah. So that's pretty much it for the twin breaker. Yeah, yeah. All right. So yeah, I do recommend this weapon if you're a fan of Comrade Cross Charge and Comrade Grease. I just say or Comrade Grease. Um. Now it's kind of disappointing. There's no reader or anything like, or any pin 
any you know, reader in here, which that's kind of disappointing. Which when I first saw this in a magazine, it's kind of like, oh, I hope this is a reader, and it turns out it's not. So yeah. So don't let this don't let that push you away because this is a pretty fun toy. I mean, it's not terrible. Um. Um. Uh, yeah, it's just a weapon that allows you to use you know two full bottles. Um, and of course, you know, this came out before the full Wild Buster existed, so, yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, I do recommend this if you like Comrade Cross, Charge, or Comrade Grease. So, um, I'm also do a little update on this ch on my channel. Um, I'm actually going to do something new to... I'm going to bring something new to the table in terms of toy reviews. Um, so, basically, I've been collecting Mugen Heroes. Which, if you don't know, Mugen Heroes are the... It's actually part of the Mugen Bind, um, um, s um, series. So, what that means is my next review is going to be the Mugen Heroes 001 Mugen Dragon. Yes, that's correct. I'm, in fact, doing Mugen Heroes. Just to do something new for my channel. So, so yeah. That would be great. So, stay tuned for that. Um... So, I will catch you next time.